Jess with Jess Makes Sense. And today I'm gonna go over some new spring newness from Bath and Body Works. I'm sure most of y'all have gotten this stuff, but I'll show you what I got. And they have a coupon floating around, but I did not get it. So that's kind of disappointing, but what can you do, right? First, I'm gonna go through the candles. The first one I got is Pink Lilac and Vanilla. And this packaging is beautiful it's kind of like a hologram and then the top is kind of like a uh, shimmery of the same pinkish purple color and the scent notes on this is fresh lilac bouquets dewy greens vanilla blossom it's very floral so if you don't like floral you need to skip this candle altogether because this is like floral and vanilla like you smell the flowers first and then you smell the vanilla. But they mix really well together. That's this one, first one. Next one uh, is a repurchase. It is the Sweet Rosemary and Vanilla. And this is the wax, I love it. It's like a teal turquoise color. This isn't a strong candle. This is more like a bedroom candle in my opinion because I like strong. But the smell is so unique and so good that I got a backup. It's like very bakery with like a weird freshness. It is fresh rosemary, sweet vanilla cake, and whipped frosting. And this one I love. The packaging's cute too. The last one for the candles that I got, and I want to get Banana Cabana, so I have to order that online. But this one is Banana Bunt Cake. And look at that packaging. If that is an Easter, I don't know what is. And then it's just regular cream wax. And the scent notes. Sweet banana, toasted walnut, fresh cinnamon with essential oils. And I would say this is similar to the banana walnut muffin. I should go get the banana walnut muffin. Let me go get it. Hold tight. See that trickery? See how fast I came back? She's good. Okay. Banana bunt cake. Banana walnut muffin, which I hoarded these candles, banana walnut muffin, because it's just so good. They both have sweet banana and they both have cinnamon. This one says golden nutmeg and this one says toasted walnut. So let's see. Get my sniff ready. Okay, they are similar, but this one's way more cinnamony than this one. This one you smell the banana first, and this one you smell actually smell cinnamon first. In fact, this one, I do smell a hint of banana at the end, but this one burns better um, with the banana. So on cold, it's mostly cinnamon, but when you're burning it, you do get the banana. And I don't know about the banana bun cake because I haven't burned it yet. But I would say similar, this one, much more banana than this one. Love both of these. Banana scents, amazing. Next, I'll open this box that I haven't even opened from Bath & Body Works. And this has um, two candle holders in it. Y'all know I'm obsessed with candle holders. I have way too many. I probably have a candle holder for like most of my candle collection. And if y'all saw my candle collection, maybe I'll do a video on that or like a three part series on that for real. Um, the first one is this, I think this might be off the website. You know how like sometimes you turn it on, you go on the website and there's nothing and then the next day there's something and then the next day it's not there again. So if you want something like these candle holders, get them while they're on the thing. But it's kind of like hearts, like ornate hearts. This was $15.95. It's really lightweight. And I will use this for Valentine's Day, but I actually thought that it was really cool for, um, for Halloween. It reminds me of uh, at Disney, the Haunted Mansion. 
I don't know, like the gates. I don't know why it reminds me of that so much, but I'll probably use this mostly for Halloween. That's what it looks like with the candle in it. Obviously, it'll probably be an orange spooky candle. And I'll put a pink one in there for Valentine's Day. Oh, they actually package this like super, super well. I mean, it has this, and then it has a bunch of stuff in here. And then this is a whole nother box. Very impressive the Bath and Body Works. I've always had good luck with Bath and Body Works. I've only had like one thing break. But Homeworks candles, if you get them from Ulta, they break a lot. But Harry Slatkin said he was working with them on that, so hopefully they fixed it. Okay, and then it's wrapped again. Hmm. This is the one that I said in my first video, I think, that I ever did with candle holders. I did um, showed you some of mine. I found way more later, but I said I wanted the marble pedestal, and when I saw this online, I grabbed it as soon as I saw it. Oh, uh, it's not a mess up, it's just like a... And then the bottom is like a velvety, so it doesn't scratch any surfaces. I hope they come out with another one of these, because I wanted it like stacked. But I think that's so pretty. And you can actually use this for other things besides candles. But I love that. In fact, I might leave this here in my wine and coffee bar because it's like marble and then this quartz is like marble-ish. Do you think that would look good? If I had a two stack or a three stack, like if I had the small one, a big one, and then a medium sized one, that would be perfect. And that's it, just those two candle holders. The next thing I went in store and I have so many lotions, so many shower gels, so many sprays, so many this. So I wasn't going to do it, but I saw this collection and I heard rumors that the raspberry jam donut from the bakery shop smelt like the Santa's blueberry shortbread. And I am here to put it to the test. So I'm prepared and I grabbed this. This is my last shower gel. I don't have anything else. Blueberry shortbread, Santa's blueberry shortbread. I love this so much and don't even ask me why because I'm not even like crazy about blueberry, but I love it. And I have this, the raspberry jam donut shower gel. So I'm gonna do a sniff test of these two right now. Let's see. It's so good, and I'm not even like a bakery shower gel type person, so I don't even know why it's so good. If you hear noises, that's my just my little dog, Minnie. Minnie, what's your deal? Hmm. I would say this is more bready, more short bready. And this has the warm fluffy donut. So this donut is um, like the dough in here is more sweet than this one. It's not the same, but it's, it's, how do I say this? It's not the same, but it makes it to where I don't miss this as much because I have this, if that makes sense to y'all. And I might even dare say I like this one better. Let me tell you the scent notes. On this one, it's baked blueberry, crumbled shortcake, and whipped cream. This one is wild raspberry jam, powdered sugar, and warm fluffy donut. So this is definitely raspberry, this is definitely blueberry. I'm not trying to say that this, that they're the same scent, because it's not. This is actually blueberry, this is actually raspberry. But I think people are saying like you get the same like vibe from this one as this one. And I would say yes. I would say if you love this one, you're probably gonna love this one. And um, the cashier at Bath and Body Works said a lot of people are going for this one because it reminds them of this one. And since Bath and Body Works didn't bring out the Land of Sweets, this is kind of like a comparison. So, not the same, same vibe.
that's what I'd say about that one. The next one I got is Hibiscus Paradise Moisturizing Body Wash, which I love these moisturizing body washes, especially in the winter because my skin is so dry. And this scent notes is pink hibiscus, juicy guava, and sun-kissed coconut. And I love coconut smells. I know a lot of people don't. It's like hit or miss. This smells really good. It's really fresh hibiscus smell. Um, and it does have a little bit of coconut, but not a lot. Like I think somebody who didn't like coconut would like this. But let me tell you, I sprayed the spray. They had like a sample at the checkout and the lady's like, spray it, see what you think. And I looked at her and went, and she made the same face back at me. And I said, are they all like this? And she's like, no. So the body spray to me smell awful. And even on dry down, it smelled awful. I thought it was disgusting. So when I smelled this in store, I thought maybe my nose was teasing me because obviously you're through a mask, so it's hard to know. But I just thought I'd get it anyway because the moisturizing body washes I love and even if it's not the best scent in the world. But this smells so good to me and the spray smells so bad to me. So I'm going to just use this test out the lotion the next time I go in and see if it's still like this, but the spray, I don't know what's wrong with the spray. Don't know. I did get a second one of this just in case, even though this lid is like kind of broken. But they didn't have, ooh, ooh, ooh. They didn't have any um, chocolate covered cherry left of anything. And I was shocked because I think that smell is repulsive, disgusting, the worst scent I've ever smelled at Bath & Body Works in my whole life. But some people love it, obviously, because it's sold out at my store. And I am like flabbergasted. And it just goes to show that what you think is disgusting, the smell, some other person loves. And so I think that's funny because I'll be like, why did they bring this scent out? But and then it's sold out. So obviously people love it. I guess that's what makes the world go round. The next I got was the Raspberry Jam Donut Fine, uh, Fine, Fine Fragrance. And again, this is Wild Raspberry Jam, Powdered Sugar, and Warm Fluffy Donut. And I love the packaging. They did a great job on the packaging. I mean, you can tell that they are like able to do everything now. Where during COVID, I feel like they weren't. I don't know if I necessarily would use this like going out because it's kind of like, I smell like a bakery, but at home, I love it. I'll keep this by my bedside. Hopefully my dogs don't like think it's jam and start licking me. Um, the next I got raspberry jam donut and I got this because I'm not gonna use this during the day. I'll use it at night before I go to bed and I love the moisturizing body cream but the body lotion to me is less thick and I like it better on my hands and arms at night than the moisturizing lotion. The moisturizing cream I usually use um, like on my legs and feet because it's so thick. And this is really strong. A lot of times the lotion isn't strong, but to me this is really strong. Love that. And then I skipped over this scent so many times and I was watching um, Kel's Sense, which if you're not following her on YouTube, you should. It's K-E-L-S, uh, S-C-E-N-T-S. So it just makes sense. It's the same sense. And it's Kel's, K-E, no, she changed it to Kelsey. I'll try to link her YouTube below because she changed her YouTube name. But I think it's K-E-L-S and then Sense, S-C-E-N-T-S on Instagram. And she's so cute and she's 25, but I swear she looks 18. She looks so young, I'm so jealous. And she um, does really great reviews and she always finds the new stuff and she gets it all in her store before everybody else does. I don't know what her store does, but my store's like two weeks later. It doesn't have the stuff that her store had two weeks before. But she talked about the coconut cream pie 
and I'm like, oh, I'll give it another go. Let me smell it in the store. And I loved it. And the first time I smelled it, I didn't like it. So I don't know, maybe she just influenced me. But this is toasted coconut flakes, caramel custard, and golden pie crust. This is another like nighttime. Actually, you could wear this. I would wear this in the summer. I mean, obviously I'll wear it now, but you know what I mean. It's more, it's definitely more creamy than it is coconutty, if that makes sense. So I don't even smell, I smell custard, but I don't smell caramel custard as much. I do smell caramel, but not super strong. I smell golden pie crust, and then at the end you get the toasted coconut flakes. And I think that's the difference between this and like Waikiki beach coconut. I think the toasted coconut makes it like not as intense of a coconut as um, like the summer coconut scents. But it definitely is ultra moisturizing, 24 hour moisture. Yeah, guys, get this one. I was against it at first, but get this one. It's really good. And I think that's it for this video. Hopefully I won't do another Bath & Body Works haul for a little bit. But you know Bath & Body Works keeps coming out with that newness, even though we try to limit ourselves. But I'll see y'all in the next one. Thanks. Bye-bye.